Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be playing with Bobbi Brown's new cool clean makeup brand and that is Jones Road. I did pick up a few items to be playing with so we are going to create a kind of no makeup makeup look using some of her products today. I got her starter kit as well as a miracle balm and her mascara. So we're going to create this kind of simple no makeup makeup look today. So if you're interested in learning a little bit more about Jones Rhodes and my thoughts on some of these products, then let's go ahead and get started. Good morning, everyone. Today we are going to be doing a no makeup makeup look using the Jones Road Beauty. I had picked up some items from this brand and if you are not familiar with this brand this is Bobbi Brown's new launch. So this is Cool Clean Beauty and I've been very intrigued by this line. I am a fan of Bobbi Brown. I was a Bobbi Brown girl for many years so I wanted to see what her new clean beauty was all about. So I picked up one of the kits like the starter kit and as well as one of the balms. So I ended up getting the balm in Eau Naturelle and I was very intrigued. I'm a texture girl you guys and these balms just looked right up my alley. I really wanted the rosy one but I just ended up picking the Eau Naturelle and we'll get into that in a minute thinking I could use this kind of as foundation but that is not the case for my particular skin type, but we'll still use this on other parts of the skin. And then in the starter kit, it came with a Just a Sec eyeshadow. This is in Golden Peach, and it is a really pretty kind of peach toned eyeshadow. And we'll be using that. I've tried everything out, you guys. So I'm just kind of showing you the packaging as well. Then we have a, um, then we have the best eyeshadow, and this one is in dark brown, kind of a universal dark brown shade, very kind of Bobby Bobby Brown kind of shade. So we're going to use this today. Then I also picked up the Jones Road, her mascara. This is a clean mascara, so we are gonna use that on camera today. I've already used it once before in a video. It's good. Then we have the Jones Road. This is the best pencil, and this is in black or noir. So we'll be using that today. And then the starter kit came with the cool gloss and this is just the original gloss. So we're going to be doing a minimal makeup look today. Okay, so first things first. I was so excited for the Miracle Balm and I always like to test things out before I show you guys just so I can have an understanding unless I'm doing a first impression. And so I attempted to wear this Eau Naturelle all over my skin. And it says that you can do that. These are kind of these miracle balms that can be used all over your face. They come in beautiful colors. They have a bronze and a tawny, au naturel and the rosy, and the rosy one that's sold out. And first thing I did was when I opened this up, it definitely has a scent. It is an herbal scent, but these are the kind of things that worry me for my own particular skin. I'm not perfect about ingredients, but for me, essential oils are always the thing that really rare up my rosacea oils, more so than just regular makeup, which is sort of funny because um, this would be sort of considered clean makeup. But in here, it's got kind of a mentally kind of scent to it. And when I read the ingredient deck after the fact, um, not a good thing. Read it before. So in the ingredient deck here, it highlights that this is made with jojoba oil, argan oil, as well as vitamin E. Those are all fantastic ingredients for your skin. I just kind of wanted to know what this menthol -y kind of scent was. So basically this includes ginger root oil, grapefruit peel oil, 
orange peel oil and rosemary leaf oil. So beyond my better judgment, I decided I would go ahead and buff this onto my skin, kind of use this as it is directed. You can kind of use this all over and it's just going to kind of give you a healthy glow. It did give me a glow, but my skin did not like it. So just a heads up, this does not mean that it may not work for your skin. I have kind of sensitive fussy skin um, that does not like essential oils. So a lot of the brands that I love, like the clean kind of brands, they tend to use some of those kind of ingredients. In my skin, that's what's going to kind of rev up my rosacea. So what happens to me is I will get little red dots underneath the skin um, that will kind of be letting me know that, yep, I'm going to be getting a little outbreak if I don't discontinue use of a product. So I apologize in advance. I'm not going to be putting this on my skin today just because it is going to have a reaction and I have been spending the last few days trying to calm it down. So it has beautiful texture. You can use this for multiple purposes. So it's not bad that I have it. I think it's going to be fantastic for like on my hands, on my lips, those kind of things. But on my actual skin, skin, it did not react well. Again, I am a fussy girl. So if you happen to try this and love it, then I think that is fantastic. This is just my experience with it. And again, this was one that I was super excited about. So I am going to take some balm and we are going to put this on my lips that's already what's on it right now and that works beautifully i almost feel like it gives it a little plumping effect from the kind of ginger or rosemary the little herbs in there but i did want to mention that in case any of you other people have sensitive skin i would definitely i would definitely see if you might be able to get a sample first so this is the i'm going to see if you can see so this is what the balm looks like here. It's just going to give your skin a nice healthy glow. We just have this on as lip gloss. I think the only other thing is, is some of the other colors she was kind of placing around the eye area. To me, I don't know if I would be able to do that due to the kind of scent in it. I don't know if my eyes would like that. So, so again, I was just a little bit bummed because I was super excited about the Miracle Balms. I thought they sounded beautiful. The textures looked amazing, but it did kind of also feel a little smothering on my skin. So today, you guys, I just put a little bit of my Biologique Recherche. This is the Serum de Tint. I just put a tad in my sunscreen to kind of keep that kind of no makeup makeup look. So that is what's on my face right now. And then what we'll do is let's move on to the eye products. So here is the Just a Sec Little Eyeshadow Pot, and this is in Golden Peach. So the first thing I noticed is that the texture of this is really almost marshmallowy. It feels really creamy. It feels super creamy. So this is Golden Peach right here. It's just going to give me a light little look on the eye today. So the creamy texture of it, kind of marshmallowy, is really quite lovely. So I am going to dip a brush into the pot and you can also just use this with your finger. Actually, I'll use this with my finger first and then we can kind of use the brush to kind of brush this out. So if you guys, it has a really nice kind of creamy texture to the shadow. And I'm just going to kind of put a little wash of this light golden peach all over my lid, just like that. Okay. This is Golden Peach, just a very light wash of shadow. So these are definitely kind of sheer, um, almost moussey, but it does stay on your lid. So that one is a really nice kind of look. Then we're going to go in and we are going to use the powder shadow. And this is in. And then here is a swatch of the dark brown here and it is a really nice kind of deep rich shadow. I would tend to use 
this as a liner. So I'm going to use a little bit of the black and a little bit of this brown shadow. I'm first going to use the dark brown as a eyeliner to kind of show you the no makeup makeup look. And then we can intensify with the pencil. I'm going to take Ruffer number 23. This is a fresh one. I love this brush so much. This is like your perfect little eyeliner pencil. And I'm going to just take a little bit of that dark brown and I will go ahead and I'm going to line close to the lash line here. going to take just a little bit of this whatever's left on my brush here and I'm just going to come close to the lash line down here. I'm attempting to do the no makeup makeup look and I don't want to have too much and I don't want to have too much makeup on the eyes. Okay guys, we used that shadow for that no makeup makeup look. Then I'm going to use the best eye pencil and this happens to be in a little deeper color and, and this is in black. So just a little bit deeper than that brown and I'm going to use this on the upper lash line. I'm going to wiggle it between the lashes just to kind of emphasize the lashes when I put mascara on. So again, we're just keeping a real simple eye today. And then since we have this dark brown, I thought I would just take a little bit of that and fill in my brows, just a teeny bit. So I'm kind of using that refer, but we might as multitask with that shadow. It's basic, simple kind of eye, just trying to define them a little bit. We desperately need mascara. And I actually really do like this Jones Road mascara. So finding a clean mascara that performs like your favorite um, can be a hard thing. This is a really nice kind of inky kind of mascara. So I would say out of everything I've tried so far, I do really like the mascara. And I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna coat those lashes. Okay guys, here is the mascara and it really does kind of lengthen your lashes. You can get kind of a nice flared out eye look with this. So I would say I really am enjoying this mascara. Now because I'm not going to be using anything on the cheeks, I pulled out a couple other clean products that I'll be using today. And this is from OG and this is their Amber. And this is their amber highlighting stick. So I thought I would just put on a little bit of warmth on the face and then we'll top off with her lovely gloss. So I'm just going to... And then I'm using Carnelia. Okay, let's finish off the lips. I'm gonna just quickly put on Victoria Beckham Lip Liner, and this is in one, and then we'll top off with the Jones Road Lip Gloss. And here is the Cool Gloss. You guys, it has a very nice kind of minty feel to it. Definitely is going to plump up your lips a little bit. So the gloss is really quite lovely. Okay, this is my no makeup makeup look using the starter kit from Jones Road. Again, I apologize for not being able to use the Miracle Balm 
on my skin. Again, that was probably my biggest bummer because the textures of those balms look amazing. I was kind of wanting to buy the bronze, the tawny, and of course the rose, but those are going to be a pass for me. So that would be my big disappointment. Again, as I said, I have sensitive skin and these are just not going to work for my skin type. They may work for you. So again, if you are someone who has used the Miracle Balm and is having no issues, go ahead, let me know in the description box. This unfortunately is just a hard pass for my fussy skin. And then as far as the eyeshadows, these are both lovely. These are like your perfect kind of neutral, clean kind of eye look. That golden peach, just a nice light wash on the eyes. And then we've got that dark brown that's kind of a multi-purpose kind of shadow. So far, nice pigmentation. And then as far as the pencil, I did notice a little bit of smudging on my eyes. I have more, as we call them, experienced eyes. So I tend to need to use something Thing that is a little bit more gel based for my more mature eyes um, that was going to stay stay in place. So again, this is not that it's a bad pencil. It is just for someone of my ilk. I did find a little bit of smudging throughout the day um, using this pencil. So again, I'm just someone who tends to lean towards those gel waterproof kind of eyeliners for my eyes. And I do really enjoy this gloss. It feels very hydrating and plumping on the skin and they come in a variety of different colors. So highlight of the brand, I would definitely recommend the mascara. I, I think it is a fantastic clean formula of mascara. The brush is amazing and it has a really nice kind of dark inky color to it. So that is the review of the products that I have gotten from Jones Road. And as usual, I love to hear if you tried this brand, how it worked out for you and what your recommendations are. Okay guys, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. I have some fun videos coming your way. So please stay tuned and I'll be back with another video soon.